going to talk a little bit about decluttering your home and making it a little bit more minimalistic. And this all really kind of started with hearing Marie Kondo, Marie Kondo, Marie Kondo. Everybody knows, you, you all know who Marie mm -hmm. Kondo is, right? Absolutely. A little bit. She's got her show, she's got a book. Have anyone read, read the book? I haven't seen the show. show. I know you can actually go get trained. Like, she actually has a school now where you can learn to do, like, her method. But I read her book, and it's part of our, our book club, and it was about her method and how to go about doing this. And you essentially would, like, pick something up, and you would say, like, does this spark joy? And if it doesn't spark joy, then you would put it aside, right? Or, and you would have, like, your garbage pile, a donate pile, a keep pile. And really, you're trying to get through your possessions and only keep the things that really matter to you, that really, you know, evoke some emotion or you feel good about it. It's kind of like when you're in a marriage and your, your husband doesn't spark joy anymore, you get rid of it. Yeah, right? I don't, I'm thinking of one of the kids. I have a sense spark of joy. Another tip is decanting household products is completely worth it. By doing that is finding decanters that you can put things in. So your your hand soap, instead of putting um, your hand soap, because they say branding can actually clutter your mind. So if you've got on your counter your palm olive over here, you've got your... I believe that to be true. Yeah, because all you're seeing is all these I brand names. I don't want names. to see palm olive. I want it in a nice... In a nice pump and I yeah, want a or, nice or a pump or I mean they said decanter but I mean it doesn't have to be a decanter. The idea of be... wine decanting dumping yeah. it out of your bottle into a, a yeah. nondescript container. Exactly so that you're not just walking into your home seeing we've got this we've got this we've labels, got this. Labels, 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 labels. I think that's tacky anyway. Yeah no it's true. Sometimes people like to put it out because I've been to people's homes where they put something out that was very expensive and they want you know, I, this is an expensive hand lotion that you're yeah, going to be using. Body works. Yeah, like, like it's thing, things like that. I think it's okay, um, but I, I, I get the idea of maybe not having all of that out. I have like my, I have that, you know, the Keurig machine, and I've got those Keurig cups or K cups or whatever you call them. But I have them in glass jars, containers on the on the counter, so mm -hmm. it's just sitting in there. So if you want, you. Help yourself to one, but it's not sitting in a box. You it's do not that sitting with a lot of I do. things. You put them that way. I do. I like it. Yeah, I like it that way. All beautiful. And I just I like that. I like order, and for me, it's easier because it just makes things simplistic for me, and I like the cleanliness of it. Right? Mm -hmm. No. Some may, it's Some may say it's extreme. Some may say it's extreme, though. You know, not only does Marie Kondo say this, but a lot of people who uh, talk about decluttering your home and, make, and, and being a little bit more minimalistic is literally not looking at your closet as an example and saying, oh my goodness, this is going to take me a day to do or a couple of days to Months. do. Or, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it, it's, it's saying, I'm going to work on this project and what I'm going to do right now is I'm pulling out all the old summer clothing that I have and I'm going to, you don't have to get rid of it, do something like donate it so that somebody else reaps the benefit. I find doing clothes is easy for me, but I collect stuff on my travels that I don't necessarily need or want. I just impulsively buy a silly little souvenir. I have a drawer in my bedroom closet. It's a huge drawer, like you could fit two sleeping bags in it. Oh, wow. And it's just full of postcards and this and that. I'm thinking, why did I buy this stuff? Because you I think feel at the wasteful time. When I think to myself, just throw it all away. Like, but then I feel it reminds wasteful. You of going away. I know, too, but right? I'd have to and pull then... it out and look at it. But what is the point of it? Remember, decluttering isn't necessarily about what you're getting rid of. It's also about what you're keeping. So if you look at it from that perspective, you go into your home and it's not, I'm getting rid of this. It's more of, I'm keeping this and enjoying what I've got. That's a good way to look yeah. at it.